What's up guys, Grimmix V here. In today's video, I've got a couple of gems to share with you, but before that, if you've been wondering why the content's dropped off lately, that's because I've been sinking a ton of time into the V Rising beta. I was among the ones lucky enough to get into the first wave, and I took full advantage. Now, if you're a subscriber, you may be aware that I posted a poll a couple weeks ago asking what you all wanted to see from me next, and it looks like a lot of you were wondering about my plans for 1.0 and my new preferred weapon loadout. I'm putting together a separate video for the weapon piece, but the core of my plan is to unlock my passives early and stockpile as many normal and greater Stygian shards as I can. A lot of people think these shards are just for passives, but they're actually not. Outside of unlocking the passives, the normal Stygian shards can also be used to purchase blue weapons or spawn resources at the summon circle. The greater Stygian shards can be used for the summon circle as well, but they're also used to create T4 spell jewels and roll for purple weapons. What's more is that when you do roll for the purple weapons, you actually have a chance at getting one of the new unique weapons in the game like this one. So how do you get these? Well, as most of you are already aware, they drop from the event rifts that take place in the end game area. These start at level 57 for the normal Stygian shards, and I believe around level 82 for the greater ones. However, that's not the only way. These can not only drop from killing random mobs within the zone, but there's also two designated farm locations specifically for these. The normal Stygian shards can be farmed in this area, and the greater ones can be farmed up here. In these cities, the mobs drop them at a higher rate, but the best way is to break these blood pylons since they give a guaranteed drop every time you break them. Because of that, I decided to place my base here for quick access and personally believe that this is now the best base location in the game, with all of these being excellent secondary options. What gives this location an edge over the others is that within Dunley, you can now occasionally find these Silverlight Merchant carts traveling along this road. After you've killed the Silverlight mobs and break the cart, they spawn a couple high level mobs from the new zone, which are usually a pretty high level blood. Once they're gone and you take a peek inside, you'll find a bunch of in-game resources, which has a chance to spawn normal and greater Stygian shards as well. It can take a while and be pretty risky to kill these early on, but it is absolutely worth it. I was farming the in-game zones and killing the cart as soon as I got level 50. Now, I don't know the exact respawn timer on these, but I think it's roughly around 10 to 15 minutes. I can do a full clear of the tier one zone, run and pick my way through the tier two pylons, and then head back to the tier ones, and they'll basically be respawning either just before or right after I crest the gate. I, of course, kind of pushed the limits here yesterday because I knew people didn't really know about this, but be careful. <laughs> Don't be as greedy as I was, especially now that players are breaking into the higher levels. This area is pretty much gonna always be a war zone since these resources are gonna be usable at all stages of the game. And that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Now that the place test is over and I've got myself fairly established, I'm gonna try and get content out faster, so make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to stay up to date. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is GrimXV, signing off.